please join me in welcoming Sean. Thanks. <laughs> Morning. So, not Tom Conafee, but I'll have to do. So, uh, would like to say you guys really missed, for those that missed, there was a great sing-along at Alex's house last night. We sang Beatles, it was, it was great fun. Maybe there's a Periscope on that, I'm not sure. Maybe a video around someplace. So, uh, so I'll jump right in. Fortunately, I need the cards. I haven't quite 100% memorized everything, so bear with me. Um, so good morning, everyone. Um, what's next for OpenStack at Walmart? Walmart is transforming from an enterprise technology company to an agile technology company. OpenStack is a big part of that transformation. You're going to see new projects and more contributions, and more importantly, you're going to see more month-over-month -month contributions from Walmart. I want to start off by explaining how Walmart and OpenStack are similar. How is a brick-and-mortar retailer similar to a bunch of software-defined projects? I'm going to explain that. So let's, let's jump in. So what is Walmart? These stats are impressive. Walmart's done a lot over the years. But what is the essence of Walmart? To better understand Walmart, I want to highlight the man behind Walmart. Sam Walton was a family man. His immediate family was and continues to be part of Walmart. That man has an, had an idea how to change the retail business. More importantly, he believed in treating everyone equally while expecting the best from them. To me, this is the basis of merit-based work or meritocracy. Work hard, expect the best from yourself and everyone equally, and get rewarded by your community. Walmart expanded the number of retail stores while continuing to hire and retain what he considered to be the secret to its success, the employees of Walmart. The number of stores increased and the Walmart family increased. While there are millions of employees, each Walmart location is run like a family. The people there feel like they're a part of something larger. While this may sound old fashioned, don't we all want to be part of something larger? I know that that is what motivates me. Being part of something bigger where I can grow. So Walmart Labs. I've talked about a little bit about the essence of what is Walmart, but what is Walmart Labs? We get this question a lot, but it bears repeating. Labs is just as it sounds, doing exciting things with hardware and software. What specifically attracted me to Walmart Labs is the move to open source. At Walmart Labs, we are transforming the developer experience, or as we like to call it, the irresistible developer experience. We want to hire, retain, and promote the best and the brightest. We have adopted OpenStack and OneOps as, uh, and many other open source technologies, but adoption only makes us users. As I said before, we are increasing our month over month contributions as it makes us stronger and the community stronger. As OpenStack has been successful through contribution, Walmart aims to follow in that example. I've talked about Walmart and merit-based work. I've started by stating OpenStack and Walmart are similar, so I'll talk about, a little bit about OpenStack to explain what I mean. We started with Walmart stats. OpenStack has some impressive stats as well. These stats not only represent being at the right place at the right time, success came from believing and treating everyone equally while expecting the best from them. We worked hard within our own groups while collaborating with the rest of the community. This should sound familiar because it's very similar to the way that Walmart is run as a company. Why we started as a small group with a vision of the future rather than just one man like Walmart, Sam Walton always considered his extended family and friends to be the secret of his success. And similarly, after five plus years, I consider the OpenStack community to, to be my extended family and friends as well. I don't know if you guys notice. Oh, could you go back one? Thank you. <laughs> Uh, so that's Chris Kemp. So I don't know if you guys noticed that. I didn't put his name up there, but you know, a little trivia for those that were able to pick that out. Yeah, kudos to Chris. All right, let's continue. So uh, I'm going to provide some more stats to help explain 
success by merit-based work. Consistent contribution, which you see up here, is very difficult to achieve. With the OpenStack community started with two teams that are, had similar goals. This simple activity has repeated itself over and over again with new teams and projects. The common thread has been meritocracy. While we practiced agile software development in the projects, in the infrastructure throughout the life of the community, agile development cannot thrive without merit-based work. So the infrastructure to support the scaling of projects has been critical to the success of the technical community's continued growth. Otherwise, we would not be able to support the massive operations of hundreds of projects as you see them increasing month over month, year over year here. I would like to remind everyone the dedication and the devotion of the OpenStack infrastructure agile software development process. Uh, <laughs> Let me start over. The, the dedication and devotion of the OpenStack infrastructure team that executes this day in, day out. So give them props. They make the OpenStack agile software development process work we would not function as a community without them. So a little bit about transformation. What is Agile? I said Walmart is turning into an Agile technology company, but what does that mean to Walmart? Walmart is using and contributing to open source. It's a great way to get stuff for free, right? Open source, free stuff. Attract fresh face developers and engineers by doing something cool and trendy and being part of a big community and saving the world through code. Is that agile? Open source is important, only part of the, open source while important is only part of the picture. To be an agile technology company, you need to react quickly to changes. By using open source technology like OpenStack and OneOps, we reduce the cost of running the business through agility. That kind of agility allows you to make improvements in software you developed test the changes, collaborate with your peers around the changes, and then deploy those changes in production. Notice that I have added production application agility into the software development process. Walmart practices agile software development with the open source OneOps project being the continuous delivery of that process. We are able to make applications that heal themselves. So, how do you do that? How do you make applications that heal themselves? That sounds pretty crazy, right? With open source one-ops, you create a pattern of that application, a pattern that represents how to deploy the application, failure scenarios, and how to recover from those failures. Think about that. You can create a software development pipeline with all the automated testing to verify your code doesn't destroy the code base and then you deploy into production. You can be just as diligent about your result. Your production deployment will be just as agile as your software development. So let's do some review. I've provided you a glimpse into meritocracy and how Walmart and OpenStack are related through merit-based work. I've worked in a slightly updated version of Agile software development and how OneOps and OpenStack enables Walmart to make that happen. What is next for OpenStack at Walmart? We are contributing to new OpenStack projects like Creighton and Watcher. We have new projects we want to start like a multi-cloud management tool that we'll be talking to the Ryzen team about. But the project I want to highlight today is OneOps. OneOps is currently an open source project, but we want to do so much more with it. To do that, we need more contributors and a community. We're exploring the idea of moving OneOps into OpenStack as an OpenStack project. We will, this will bring application lifecycle and orchestration to OpenStack. We also have ideas about adding brokerage features as well. We already have made significant contributions in OpenStack and OneOps. We want to make sure this all fits together project-wise. We are hitting multiple OpenStack user groups during August to discuss the pros and cons. We want to hear your feedback. So thank you for your time. The easiest way to reach out to me is through IRC or Twitter. My handle is Saurabh. 
You can also reach out and find out what's going on through Walmart Labs um, or the, uh, the OneOps handle in Twitter to find out what's going on and what's new and great coming up with, uh, coming up with us. So um, I think I'm a little bit short. So I, we were gonna do another question and answer thing again. Is uh, Jonathan available to come back out? Okay. Oh, he's here. Here he is. All right, I'll put the cards away. <laughs> Be a little more spontaneous. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. You mentioned 170,000 cores on OpenStack. Can you give us a sense of what proportion of your overall hyperscale infrastructure that is? Is it about half? Is it more than half? Is it less than half? Um, it's a percentage. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But it, it's a significant percentage. It's a significant percentage? Is that more That's as far as I'm going to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Let me rephrase the question. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> My PR department will be very pleased. <laughs> we could do a Beatles sing-along if you guys want. Anybody? <laughs> How you doing? Uh, I'm Chris Primesberger with eWeek. Is it too early to talk about Jet and what it brings to the table? Um, yes, <laughs> but uh, I can say that I'm excited by the prospect of them coming on. It's obviously very fresh news, so um, it, it opens up some very interesting possibilities. All the way at the back over here. Uh, would you be able to explain what uh, OneOps provides, which uh, projects like Creighton, for example, do not have? Um, ah. I'm just questioning the motive of uh, introducing another OpenStack project when we can put in our force behind one of the existing projects, maybe Fuel or Creighton. Ah, so um, those projects are, there is some similarity, but I, I won't make it too confusing. So the, um, the Creighton project has actually already started. Um, it's a inventory system. Um, you may be able to call it a CMDB as we get done with it, um, more longer term, but really what it's meant to be is an inventory system for OpenStack. Um, we're actually exploring the option of forking part of OneOps into that project to give it a, um, a kickstart. Um, we haven't made any decisions yet on if that's the absolute thing. Um, so the um, the OneOps project itself is uh, much broader, and it's, it's really more about orchestration and application deployment and lifecycle. So um, where there are some similarities, um, they are different. So does that explain your, answer your question? Sort of. <laughs> uh, feel free to hit me up afterwards, and I, I can go in more detail. Uh, in the back. Yeah, can you talk a little bit more about the journey that OneOps had from uh, Walmart into the open source and how that was as a company to do that? Ah, no, that's, that's, a, that's actually an interesting story. So um, about three years ago, I was talking to some guys from eBay about a project um, they had started, which um, they turned into a company. And it, it came out of um, their experience and knowledge as engineers on how to manage uh, uh, multi-cloud deployments. Um, those guys called themselves OneOps, and I happened to be at Yahoo at the time. So uh, I was talking to them about maybe buying the company or turning it open source, and then some other company stole it away from me, <laughs> called Walmart Labs. Um, so um, Walmart over the years has turned um, what was a great idea into something that actually runs production engineer engineering at Walmart. Um, so uh, it's an integral part of how Walmart manages um, OpenStack and um, applications in production. Um, I'd say that uh, the evolution, we'd always talked, um, even back in those early days, about the option of turning OneOps into an open source project. Um, that didn't happen right away, but the idea won out eventually, and um, 
it was uh, pushed into GitHub, um, I believe it was December of last year. So, does that answer your question, more or less? <laughs>